The day after terminating her $20 million arrangement with Spotify, the Duchess of Sussex was spotted on Friday looking reflective. Near her Montequita residence, 41-year-old Meghan Markle was seen, presumably engaged in a serious conversation. She took out her earplugs and started to walk while still examining her phone. She carried a $5,400 Fendi Peekaboo ACU purse while wearing black skinny jeans, ballerina flats, and a striped pullover casually. Her spouse, Archie, four, and Lilibet, two, their two children, were not visible. Some people saw the choice to forego a second season of the 13-episode podcast Archetypes, which peaked at number one on Spotify's rankings when it first aired, as an admission of failure. In a joint statement, Spotify and Arkwell Audio, the audio production business for the Sussexes, said they had mutually agreed to part ways and are proud of the series we made together. However, Bill Simmons, Spotify's head of show innovation and monetization, criticized the duo on a Friday episode of his own show. The F asterisk 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 swindlers. We ought to have begun the podcast with them, he remarked. I need to get wasted one night and tell Harry about the Zoom I had with him in an effort to assist him with a podcast idea. One of my finest stories is this one. The Ringer, a sports and pop culture website and podcast network created by sports writer Simmons, was sold to Spotify in 2020 for $200 million. He afterwards joined Spotify and has been disparaging the pair for a while. He criticized Prince Harry in January of last year, calling his affiliation with the same firm embarrassing. According to the sports website The Big Lead, he reportedly said, shoot this guy to the sun. I've had enough of this man. What contribution does he make? He just complains about s asterisk 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 while conducting interviews. Who cares anyway? Who is interested in your life? Even the favored son wasn't you. Euro f asterisk 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 asterisk. Nobody is interested in what you have to say about anything unless you talk about the royal family and only whine about them, Montequito, where you simply sell documentaries and podcasts. Recently, Spotify reduced employees and cut back on star power in favor of a creative economy focus. The Sussex's financial situation will suffer as a result of losing the Spotify contract. They are said to have a sizable mortgage on their expansive Montequito mansion in the Tuscan style, which they purchased in June 2020 for $14.7 million. In addition to the $144,427 in annual property taxes, employees and maintenance are other expenses. Megan just signed with WME, a talent agency, but WME told the Wall Street Journal that she was still looking for new venues for her work. The Archetypes team is still happy of the podcast they developed for Spotify, according to a representative. Megan is still creating more content for the Archetypes audience on another platform, the statement said. Additionally, there are rumors that Megan may soon attempt to revive the TIG, her health and lifestyle blog, in an effort to compete with Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop website, which is said to be worth $250 million. The Duke and Duchess have sought a variety of alternative routes to make money after formally quitting the royal family and relocating to California in 2020. Included in this is Prince Harry's shocking autobiography Spare, which he wrote as part of a $20 million agreement with Penguin Books. Additionally, the couple collaborated with Netflix to create the six-episode docuseries titled Harry and Meghan, for which the streaming giant allegedly paid the couple $100 million.